guys, welcome back to Evelyn Chavez channel. Bum, bum, bum. I appreciate that you guys came back. Today I will be showing you guys how to achieve this look right here. Oh, mm, mm, mm. Anyways, you can do a bit like this. Okay, I will be showing you on this eye right here. It has been concealed and set and moving on okay hope you enjoy if you do please give it a like comment and subscribe thank you okay guys well starting off we will be using the subculture anastasia palette looking a little bit like this isn't that a beaut isn't that a beaut this is the very first time i ever used an anastasia palette I never thought I was gonna get one, but hey, the, the chance came and why not, you know? So I'm mostly more of a Morphe fan, but it's okay, it's okay. It's starting to try new things, why not? But anyways, we're gonna move on. So the only thing I do have to say is the first time I use it, this eye, I did you do it already. I do have to say it does have quite a bit of fallout. Quite a bit. But anyways, this girl right here, got new products for makeup and I finally got my Tarte concealer in the shade light medium looking like this looking like this I mean it's a big bottle I don't know how people can say like oh my god it's too expensive well how much product do you really use to conceal you know what I mean but anyways um who am I to judge everybody has their own opinions I have mine well, let's continue and move on with the video, right? Starting off, we will be using this Dawn shade right here as the base shade for the entire lid, including the brow bone. We will be using this brush right here. Like I said, good pigmentation, a lot of fun. For the next shade, we will be using this Roxy right here for the crease and the crease only. We will be using this brush right here for the crease. It's more like a rounder brush. As well, we will be using this for the continuing colors to blend. Okay guys, next we will be going in with a new wave right here for the lower lid of the eye, which would be right here to here, okay? For that color, for that shade, we will be using this brush right here. It's the Anastasia Beverly Hills, the one that comes with the Anastasia Subculture Palette. Pigmentation on the... For the next shade, we will be using All Star right here for the outer corner of the eye. Just the simple outer corner using going in with this brush right here. It's more like a smaller brush just to get that little corner right there. That little oomph. Fall out, fall out. Going in a little bit of towards the crease, not so much. I do have a cloth on the side to take, remove the excess off the brush so I could kind of clean it, you know what I mean?
The next shade is Rowdy right here for the outer corner going in slightly into the inner corner with the leftover product from the brush. For that shade, we will be using the exact same brush we used for All Star, cleaning it up, of course, from the axis from the other shade and going in with Rowdy. Once that blending is done, you're absolutely done with that eyeshadow. I didn't want to use do, I didn't want to use, I didn't want to do something so extravagant because I'm not really going out. It's a stay at home day and it's just like, Evelyn, calm down. Calm down because there's no need for so much. You know what I mean? So next I will be going in with my Wet and Wild Mega Liner just to do that little oomph right there, right? So let's get this done. Let's get it. I don't know why I always have that song, let's get it. I don't even know if it's a song. Where did I get it from? I don't know. Probably a movie. Okay guys, finishing off that wing liner, loving a little bit like this. I mean, it's not the best professionalist wing liner out there, but hey, it's a liner. That's all that matters. Okay guys, so next I will be going in with the foundation and I will be using a new foundation. It's called Too Faced Born This Way in shade Sand. Look at like this girl. Okay, it's my first time I'm gonna use this foundation. My sister actually recommended it to me. She got it and she's dying for it, saying it's the best foundation out there, this and that and that and that. So I'm gonna try it and if I decide that I like it, I might go ahead and go get it, right? But we don't know. So guys, you're gonna be the witnesses in my first time using the Too Faced of Born This Way foundation and let's see how it works. We will be using this beauty blender right here, which is kind of an amazing beauty blender. It's from Morphe, okay? So giving it a couple pumps, my sister says, you don't really need that much. Guys, give me a second. I'm gonna use my little fuzz balls to hold up my hair because I guess my little string didn't want to do that. And then I'll take that off and continue on with my day. Right? It's just not gonna stop me. I mean, just look how cute these look anyway. Why didn't I start off with that? So finishing off with the foundation, we're gonna go. We're gonna 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 gonna. We're gonna go in with the contouring. We're gonna use the Wet n Wild Mega. Mega Glow Dual End Contouring Stick looking like this in shade Light Medium. We're going to be using the Brown Heart for the contouring. Don't follow my contouring if you don't like it. I mean, we're all different to contour. 
depending even on your face or depending how you like it as well because I like it one way you might just not enjoy my way you want to do it your way go ahead with this look I did it this way I always do it this way you don't have to well that is a cricket triangle but I mean does that really matter Okay guys, give me a second. I am going to clip up my hair because it's really pretty. Okay guys, next I'm going to go in with the Tarte Light Medium for the light shade. Of course, I'm going to brush out that because I don't want so much. And I'm going to do light strokes because I don't want it to go really so into a nice suck and doing straight lines I don't want it to go so tough into my face and then creating a mess right so I'm actually gonna create the triangle because I'm actually using the excess from the brush because I don't want to get a lot in there I mean I've never worked with Tarte they say that if you use a lot, I mean, it gets, tends to get um, too much product, and all it's gonna do is just make you look white, 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 white. And uh, we don't want that, right? Now, a little bit on the chin. Oh, I don't know. I've got enough huh. I'll conceal it. it smells good okay guys we're gonna go in with the beauty blender for the blending of the contour Okay, so finishing off with the contouring, I do go straight in with the bronze, then I do, um, you know, the um, translucent powder to clean up that mess right there. So for the bronzing, I'm going to be using the Femi Contour All Over Bronzer, looking like this, with this I do bronze where I put the darker shade of the contour. Right, right, right. This one does contain a little bit of shimmer. So. I mean, I enjoy shimmer. Maybe you don't, you don't have to enjoy shimmer. Of 
course, try not to use so much product so your face won't be going. I mean, you still have to put a um, little under right here. I mean, try not to use so much product. Remember, you still do have to apply highlight. Don't have to, I mean, but you're going to, right? So try not to go spectacular. So using the other side of my blending brush that doesn't have so much product on it, I'm going to use for the translucent powder. For the translucent powder, I'm going to be using the Air Spun looking like this for my face, right? I'm going to show you how I do it. You can do it in your own way, what you want to highlight. I do like to pat off the excess because, I mean, it does go all over the place. So, Okay, now what I'm going to do is I'm going to get the axis off this sponge and I'm going to pat it on my chin and pat it on my forehead to kind of set my chin and set my forehead. Okay, what I'm going to do is I'm going to get a little bit on this tip right here for the contouring of my nose, right when I went in with the light shade. For this, I did learn for the Noel section. I had never done it before. I actually learned it from Jacqueline Hill. I do love her tutorials, so I'm always on her page. And I truly do enjoy it. So what we're gonna do next is we're gonna use this brush right here to remove all the setting powder. But we're gonna what we're gonna do is we're gonna let it sit for like a few seconds. So like let's count to ten. Sing. Ready? One. Okay, I think five is fine. So let's brush it up, guys. I like to do it in, mer mo uh, in circles, in the circles motion, and then panning it in to make sure it gets in the same to the other side, circular motions to remove the most of it. For under the eye, you are going to do some swoops, but first I like to start off with a patting motion, like setting it in there, and then little swoops out. Picking up the eye. Okay guys, next I will be going in with the blush for the blush. Whoa, 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 whoa. 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 Okay, anyways, for the blush we will be using this romantic rose right here. It's from Milani. It actually is designed as a rose until you mess it up right with the brush. 
Why does that have to happen? I mean, it's so beautiful when it's actually a rose. But that's sort of a nude shade. So what I do is I go in with this one a little bit just to kind of set in the other one. And so the other one will, won't look so like, boom, you know? Okay, so getting a little bit on this brush right here. This is what I'm going to be using for the blush. Getting a little bit, removing the excess, and going in. Okay, same to the other side. So I've been learning this new technique where I do like a fish and a smiley face, if you can say. It hasn't worked out for me. I don't know which one I'm doing first, which one I'm doing next. I mean, I start with one and then I end with another one. But, hey. Makeup is makeup. No rules. No rules whatsoever. Next, I will be going in with this Tarte blush right here. It's in shade Feisty. Feisty? 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 Looking like this with the same exact brush. We will be swirling around in little circles, just kind of out like that. Brushing off the excess, going in. The exact same technique for the other side. Like I just said, a little bit. And I do like to brush the extra into my face. Okay. So finishing off with that, we will be going in with the glow. With the glow. Like I said, I'm going to be at home all day, so I don't need to go all out. For the glow, we will be using the Master Strobing Stick from Maybelline in shade Medium Nude Glow or 200. Right here, looking like this. Okay, so what we're going to do here is we're going to do the nose. The nose, the upper bone, like that. the cheeks and the chin. Little patty motion so it won't be so much. So for that, I was gonna use my fingers but let's use the end of the beauty blender. Okay guys, finishing off with that highlight right there. We are gonna go in straight with the eyelashes. Um, for the curler for eyelashes, I am using Revlon Curling Lashes. And for the mascara, like I said before, I do use a couple. It's your choice. If you want to use a couple, you don't have to. And that's all up to you. So what I'm going to do is first I'm going to prime my lashes with the Wet n Wild Lash Primer. So we're going to prime them lashes. So guys, do leave in the comments what you, what you guys want to see, what you guys are more interested in, um, leave suggestions, what you guys would like me to do, what colors you guys would like me to try. I mean, I'm new to all this. If you guys would like to help, I mean, why not? I mean, all suggestions are welcome. Finishing off with that lash primer, we are going to be going in with the Maybelline Last Sensational Mascara. Looking like this. And the brush. Just to make 
make it easier for you guys, like I said, I do use a couple of mascaras, but I'm just going to use two. The primer, the Maybelline, and the ones that that's about to come. I remember that before I used to open my mouth when I used to do my mascara. I mean, I still do once in a while. I used to do that with your face that we all do, all girls do. And gentleness. going in with the Rimmel London Lash Accelerator looking like this the brush looking I will be using the Mario Bed Asco spray looking like this. Today I will be using the rose water one to um, set my face and so on and so forth. Okay. So let's get this cap off and let's set that face. Don't move, don't smile, because then all you're going to do is make wrinkles on your face. That's going to make the wrinkle go in those wrinkles. And believe me, you don't want that. Once again, second time is optional. I do it. It's up to you what you want to do. Okay there guys, this is the end of this tutorial. Hopefully you enjoyed it. If you did, please give it a thumbs up, comment and subscribe. So like, comment and subscribe, like, comment and subscribe. Leave your suggestions in the bottom in the comments. And thank you once again for watching. Have a good one. May God bless you. Bye bye.